Hello everyone, e here. Welcome to another LEGO Hogwarts update. In this uh, building session, I am planning to build these old towers from this side and probably on the opposite side as well and connecting this whole construction with the arches that are connecting both this wall and the opposite wall. I'm having an idea actually of initially splitting them. They used to be one by four and I split them in half just to have them more often, but I kind of don't like that, I think. So I might end up going back to the old model of uh, having one big arch of four studs. We'll see exactly how I'll position them, but probably we'll end up positioning them behind the column and one stud will be over here so it still has this gap behind the window of two studs so the light can go through these uh, trans orange pieces have more over there and uh, to just get this better effect so without further ado let's get to it and see how far I get Here it is, the result of my efforts so far. I have ended up uh, combining the two stud uh, arches into one four stud again because just the uh, two stud ones were. I just need these arches that are connecting basically this whole wall and the opposite wall to be as sturdy as possible. And I really focused on that. So having it being four studs wide is a lot better achieving that and also it means that the gaps between each arch is longer this time five studs it's not that i'll be uh using the space to reach really anything but it's just better just to, to see things and also it means that it will be easier to do the lights but i'll talk about that once we get there so anyway again uh the arches basically connecting are not uh right behind the columns as they used to before as now the distance here is six and it really would mean that it have having being four studs it is being three studs it would mean that it's not symmetrical it doesn't really matter all that's important is that uh, the construction is sturdy enough and over here on this end and this end which is where the module uh, ends obviously this one is a different module is only two studs wide and it, I've made it in tan so it's just a bit more pretty when I, I take it apart. So the innovation here really is well first of all I have made the uh, map here of the overall roof a bit different I believe uh, before I had used one less row of dark bluish gray brick but this time I decided just to add an additional one just to have more breathing space here in between the first row of windows and this uh, element here. Otherwise it would have been shoved too much downwards and I didn't like that. This is actually something new that I am uh, doing with uh, this element. It's just a bit better than what it used to be before. Obviously it has to be accommodated with a different uh, spacing here. It used to be four, now it's six. And I'm not really sure that these uh, pieces here are the best ones. Obviously, this shape here is not exactly as it should be. It's more like something that is a bit forwards, but then it goes a bit too high. But then again, this is, can easily be changed to something else should I decide that it's better fit. Just for the time being, I built it like this. And I have uh, not built the uh, final portion here as I've not yet decided what I'm doing. I'm experiencing with another version of uh, brick built with plates, this pyramid shape, but it's still not really working out. So I'll probably stick to this, but since it's not really a final variant, I have just no point really to uh, do this yet. What else? Uh, the I'm really pleased with the construction here overall. Uh, it's very sturdy and I've try to use all the right pieces where possible just to make sure that this is really uh, stable and all these uh, walls are connected pretty pretty well 
the other new thing is you, you can see that the um, candles have been placed and I will show you a different angle from here. But basically uh, I have done this different uh, way here covering before uh, we had the Technic uh, bricks showing as uh, I have used a lot of See over here Technic bricks that are connected here for rows with pins as you can see in the previous videos and uh, although even right now in this new version you couldn't really see them when you uh, go like this uh, from this angle because it used to be like obviously above in between but I thought well why shouldn't I hide it if I can and since the lighting is not really here anymore it's not on this plane it will be underneath the roof it means that I don't really need all that support where I used it to wire the cables here so I can only use these elements here these brackets to attach the candles wherever I see fit and although not all of these will be used it means that I can shift the candles I can add more additionally at some point uh, if I decide that I want to do that and also it covers all those Technic uh, bricks so that's totally fine and I thought well yeah let's do this and if any changes need to occur in the future as I'm sure they will uh, it will be easier to uh, accommodate them other than that again I have uh, these inverted uh, tiles on the other on the bottom side just to have this finishing touch and this whole nice uh, arched idea here everywhere so once again like before uh, I have the slopes and then a row of uh, one brick and over here when we have another row of brick I'm going to accommodate the transition to the other module of the roof where here I'm going to have a row of plate and then another row of tile and then the bottom plate of the roof module will be the uh, final third of this uh, one brick as you know one brick is three plates so this way uh, it will be basically the same level it will not be something different as it comes to spacing and yeah I've tried to accommodate here the uh, different kind of uh, same ideas of the damaged building obviously here I don't have enough uh, of these uh, kind of quarter quarter pieces tiles which I will fill in accordingly here and on the other side overall this is really coming to a well we're near the end really judging by the amount of pieces that are left on the working table pretty much it's only this uh, dark bluish gray plate which was really used for the transition from this side of the building to the roof module and yeah all it needs to be done is to place some support here which I have not really decided whether it should be in tan or in dark bluish gray and then to place the plates back in and then we'll start building the uh, roof which will pretty much look like this I think except uh, well obviously being wider and the spacing between the windows there will be different um, and yeah the main problem we'll see will be here because this is now a separate thing before if you remember from here to here the roof was built over here and then up to the top and it was not removable and now not only will this continuation be a different separate piece which should be fine but then it needs to have the whole hat will be from here to here so one piece and it will have to be in such a way that this can be removable that this can be removable and it all oh, doesn't interfere too much what I have done is add two more knights over here to the left and right so that is actually quite a few 
knights right now. I believe a total of 18 knights. Uh, I keep increasing. I remember the days when there were only 12. But uh, the only thing I think I might be doing is to decrease this whole thing by one brick. So it will be easier to accommodate the roof. Otherwise now it's a bit too tall. But that's fine as this is uh, on the mill plate. So I'll just pick it up and uh, basically just remove a roll and see how that works out. So that is what I'm trying to do next time. I will do the finishing touches here and we'll see exactly how I connect this wall with this wall. I'll try to use similar ideas here. Obviously it needs to be accommodated to the gates and the mill plate in the back. But that should be done next time. And uh, yeah, the overall texture here, I mean, up from here to up to here is complete. Uh, over here, I need some pyramid shapes. As you see that here are present, here are missing. And obviously from here upwards, the final layer is not applied. But uh, I am just waiting for a lot of pieces to arrive. I am really done ordering these in small quantities. I'm just going to order a whole lot of uh, these uh, one by ones and pyramids by the thousands and I'm going to apply everything uh, all together. And of course, once this whole thing is done, which is actually I'm doing pretty nice uh, pace wise, considering that I started this rebuild a month and a half ago or so. Only the roof really remains to do and this section here I will continue with uh, the courtyard and applying the texture there that shouldn't take longer than this I think unless uh, mathematically I come to a place where it's very mind-boggling how to do a certain thing but it should be fine. And yeah, in between also I will try to fix the inside drawers of the great hall where the kitchen is, where the a, um, half of a common room entrance is. Obviously now the spacing inside will support a lot more um, detailing if needed. And the kitchen actually don't, doesn't have to be separated into two different pieces as it was before. Uh, go back into the initial model where it's one drawer. But yeah, that will be also be done in between. Shouldn't be difficult. It actually should be pretty fun. Anyway, that is pretty much all I have for you uh, in this video. If you like what I'm doing and you want to not miss any update as I'm doing one every two weeks, no matter how much I have built or not have built at all during this period, feel free to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any updates. And I will see you again in the next 14 or so days. Thank you for watching. Stay healthy. Keep building. And bye. For now.